All right, so recently the principal investigators of a network of centers devoted to research in, in influenza sent a statement or letter to both science and nature explaining that we will be performing carefully controlled experiments to assess what types of changes in H7N9 viruses might be something we should look for to detect viruses that have an increased potential to spread from person to person. So the, the research with influenza, and we do this with many types of influenza viruses, um, we look at whether the virus has characteristics that allow it to transmit efficiently in mammals. And mammals have a different uh, receptor preference, the, the protein that the virus binds to in the respiratory tract, than avian viruses. And this started out as an avian virus. Um, we also are concerned with mutations in the virus that would make it resistant to antiviral drugs, because again, that would raise the risk level. And right now, this virus is, a, is, is not resistant to these antiviral drugs. Um, there are other changes in the virus that might be associated with um, an overly strong immune response or, alternatively, an ability of the virus to suppress the development of an immune response. And so um, these are, in fact, we include a list of these, the types of experiments that we'd like to do, all of which, which you know, get at the biological properties of the virus, its ability to infect, its ability to cause disease, its ability to elicit an immune response. And if we understand these things better, we can design better treatment approaches. We can identify new antivirals. We can uh, use the information to improve the design of our vaccines. And again, create mitigation strategies so that if the thing that we're concerned about appears in nature, then we'll, we'll be prepared to uh, 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 confront it. So research of this nature should only be done in institutions that have the appropriate controls in place, which are both procedures as well as facilities to prevent inadvertent exposure of the researchers or other people to these viruses. In addition, the way the experiments are designed minimizes the potential risk because individual mutations are never combined with other mutations. They're always just in isolation. And finally, every experiment of this nature is reviewed both by the institution as well as by the funding agency to make sure that it's scientifically valid. Uh, we do not do this kind of research uh, at the University of Rochester. We do not do experiments uh, with avian viruses to look at their potential to uh, uh, transmit or become resistant to antiviral drugs. Um, most of the research that we do is uh, focused around immune responses to seasonal influenza viruses uh, and experimental vaccines against emerging viruses.